and we back. Today, I'm trying to build the perfect team of only small forwards. We did this with point guards. We did this with centers. So we got to meet in the middle and just do small forwards. We should be interesting because I don't know who, who 2K classifies as a small forward or a power forward. It's all over the place. So we'll see. Leave a like, subscribe. Quick plug, my brand Enjoy Basketball, the hat that you've been seeing me wear for the past week and a half or so. Um, these just went on sale a little while ago. We got a second batch in the hats because the hats sold out immediately. We also got t-shirts. We got hoodies. The link will be in the description. All right, let's do it. Let's see what team we get. We're going to stop in three and two and one. We're running with the Washington Wizards. The Wizards are going to have pick number five. <laughs> now the way this works i cannot change anybody's position so hypothetically if i get Giannis, i'm like hey Giannis can run small forward or i get jason tatum who might be a power forward i can't switch him over to small forward it goes specifically based on what 2k says okay and we gonna get to yell at 2k uh start today still don't work it's a it's a quarter into the season y'all I, <laughs> I don't understand it but hey um you know just a billion dollar company not doing what they're supposed to do. Anyway, uh, Washington Wizards, right? Washington Wizards, we did get Jason Tatum. All right, so that's not cool. Um, the best small forward in the game is Jimmy. Wow. The small forward position is kind of mid. Look at all these 90s, right? You get five 90s and power forwards. And centers, you get three. And shooting guards, you actually just get 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 three. Uh, point guards, you get a bunch. But small forwards, you get 190. One, so we must definitely have to get Jimmy Butler on this team because he's the best guy available. The rest of the team looks like Jalen Brunson, Michael Porter Jr., Brooke Lopez, Tim Hardaway Jr., Markel Fultz, and so on and so forth. All right, so we got to do this logically, right? The best playmaking point guard or small forward in the league is Jimmy Butler. Ah, so Jimmy Butler might be running our point guard. How? How? Does Jalen Brown have the second best playmaking amongst small forwards? I think Brandon Ingram's playmaking is better. I think Paul George's playmaking is better. It's just interesting. I mean, may, well, that's because they also say, wait, no, that don't make sense either. I don't know how they determined this. So Franz Wagner has passing, but like our passing numbers are going to be bad. They're going to be really bad. All right, the best, let's say best rebounding, Asar Thompson. Asar might start at our five. <laughs> we already have Michael Porter Jr. Michael Porter Jr. is the third best rebounding small four. So we might, might have to keep him on the team. Scotty Barnes is there, or Scott Barnes, or Scoot, however you want to call him. Um, offensive rebound, and it is a Asar is gonna start at our five because he also has the highest block per or block rating for real. Like Julian Champagne, I'm not signing a 69 overall player, or John Contrar. Shout out to, to him, but no, it's really like Scotty Barnes and Asar Thompson. Add them to my list. That's a priority. We gotta go get Jimmy Butler first. We're gonna trade Jason Tatum for Jimmy Butler. I, I don't, I don't like it, but it's a reality. Jason Tatum for Jimmy Butler. All right, here it is. Jimmy Butler. They see they want Michael Porter Jr. I don't know if I could do that. I don't know. If he, he's a rebounder. We get Carthony Towns back, and they also want a first round pick. Can I just get a straight up one for one? Oh no, I can't, because our money wouldn't be right. Okay, so we'll give you, we'll give you Robert Covington back. Boom. What does that say? Uh, this proposal would have us send in an excessive amount as power for, for okay all right that's fine we won't give you we'll give you somebody else we'll give you uh gabe vincent boom okay okay make you two weekend small four spot all right well then we'll give you <laughs> so that's why okay so we'll give you sam hauser oh sam hauser doesn't help all right all right this is what we're gonna do this is what we're gonna do we're gonna trade gabe vincent for a small four. boom matisse stiebel i know you want matisse stiebel on the team actually i kind of want matisse stiebel on the team the more i think about it because the defense but whatever um, so now they say, hey, we'll give you Zach Levine. I don't really want Zach Levine. I, I would rather keep the guy we got. We give you Matisse Stiebel, and now you're just not interested. All right, we give you a first-round pick for the future. Wow, I'm giving you Jason Tatum. I'm giving you Jason Tatum. I'm giving you Jason Tatum. All right, I think we do the trade, and then we just go get Michael Porter Jr. back. I, I hate that we have to do this, but Jimmy Butler's super expensive, I guess. Boom, there we go. Now, let's go talk to them again and say, hey, Michael Porter Jr., can you come back? Please just say for Zach Levine. They want Jalen Brunson, Markel Fultz. Um, I'll do I'll do the Fultz deal. There we go. All right. Now, let's go get the superstar, Asar Thompson's four-star value. Oh, my God. I understand it. You know, young, up-and-coming player, really good already, uh, as long as his coach is a player. They want Jimmy Butler. What? You want Jimmy Butler? We're going to have to give up a bunch of first-round picks for Asar Thompson. <laughs> Oh, how fun is this? Uh, okay, so we'll give you uh, Zach Levine. The money is... Oh, yeah, you're an expensive team already. Do you have bad contracts? You have Kyle Lowry. Oh, give us k -Lo back. We'll give you Zach Levine, and then we'll give you Matisse Stiebel. Oh, the money doesn't work. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll give you Sam Hauser. Boom, money matches. 
They say no. Zach Levine is an 83 and Sar Thompson an 82. 2K's like, hey, those guys are really close in overall. That's a sad day for me. Oh, one first round pick because that pick was three-star value. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So we got our center. We got our power forward at Michael Porter Jr. We got our, I guess, point guard and Jimmy Butler. Now we got to go get the rest. What else do we have? What else do we need? We need shooting. Let's go get some shooters at the small forward position. We need to space it out. Buddy Heald. His contract is pretty big, but I add him to the list. RJ Barrett is an 85. Also, his contract is pretty big, but at least he's an 83. Bogey Bogdanov is at 20 million. Dylan Brooks is at 22 million. Trey Murphy the third, must get. Must get. Rookie contract player. Lou Dort, kind of a must get in a challenge like this. Kind of a must get in a challenge like this. I like it. Jimmy Butler's three-point rating is one of the highest, which is confusing. It's higher than Larry Marketing's. Jimmy Butler three-point rating is higher than Larry Marketing. Maybe I gotta. Maybe I gotta really lock in because I, I, this don't need that don't even sound that don't even sound right. Jimmy is having a very good shooting season. He is, um, but Larry Marketing's three point percentage is lower by one. Jimmy's at thirty eight nine percent. Larry's at thirty eight percent. Jimmy's attempting two a game. Larry Mark is attempting nine. I think Larry Mark is the better three point shooter. I just that's just me. We also got like Mikael Bridges. There's a lot of small force that we really like. Let's go try to get. Um, okay, wait, wait. How, how are we doing this? Because I said Michael Porter Jr. is our center, right? I said he was our center. But how is Larry Markin and rebounding not very great? He's averaging nine rebounds per game in real life. Oh, so he's, he's third. He's third. Okay, we'll take that. We're actually going to try to go get Larry Markin before we get um, Mikel Bridges. Let's let's think about this Larry Markin deal. It's a relatively cheap contract to where you at, Larry. There you go. Uh, $17 million for him. They want Jimmy. They want Jalen Brunson. They want Michael Porter Jr. They want a Sark Thompson. The Jalen Brunson one is not bad. I'll do the Jalen Brunson deal, not think twice about it. We couldn't have him on the team anyway. Okay, great. So the next guy we wanted to get was um, Mikel Bridges. He's playing from Brooklyn. He's so Brooklyn. He, even in the fantasy draft, you can't get away from it. 21 million. They want Larry Markin and Michael Porter Jr., Sark Thompson. Uh, okay, so let's try to figure this out. We give them Kalo. They give us back Doug McDermott. They're going to say no. Um, we also have first round picks. Boom. Mikel Bridges woke to the team. All right, y'all. Hey, we feeling kind of good. We are feeling kind of good. All right, okay, okay, okay. Who else is on our list? Lou Dort. I said he's a must, but at 15 million, maybe not. Um, let's go get Trey Murphy the third. Rookie contracts. We need a. We need like two to three good rookie contracts to make this challenge work, and he fits right in there. Please tell me, Doug McDermott. That's a deal. Thank you. Exchange first round picks. Our first round pick was more valuable. All right, so now we can kind of use Trey Finder for the rest of this, man. I genuinely think we can be using Trey Finder for the rest. See, so there's Buddy, but we don't need Buddy right now. I'm going to trade for Drew Holiday. And then we're going to flip J Drew. We're going to flip Drew. He's so good. Such a great player. Uh, add a first round pick on top of that. I don't know why I did that. Because we know who all the small forwards are. We know who all the small forwards are. Okay, okay. Let's go back to the drawing board. Because we might be able to finagle it to get Jalen Brown or Paul George. Or Brandon Ingram, I guess. So let's add all three of these guys. Oh, not edit them. We're going to add all three of these guys to the list. And hope that we can make something happen. Um, I want to try to acquire one more first round pick for this. So let's trade away uh, Mo Wagner. Can't get, I like Mo's game. But there's a first round pick. Top 10 protected. It's not very valuable. Whatever. So um, we pri I think we prioritize. What is that? 30, 30, only $31 million for Jalen Brown. His super $300 million contract ain't kicked in just yet. $45 million for Paul George. And what, what contracts do we have again? We have Drew Holiday at 36. So we should prioritize Jalen Brown because of the money aspect of it. Um, even though we kind of have a couple. Well, let's go get Paul George. Let's try to get Paul George from the Pelicans first. All right. So it's Drew Holiday. No. And then it's, um, it is uh, Matisse Stiebel. And then what do we have? Two first round picks. Like that's all we can really offer without going over. One first round pick. Come on. Come on. Two first round picks. Not there. Not there. And another second. And one more second. This is all we got. Ah, Paul George. Welcome to the team. We feel good. We feel really good about this team right now. We feel really good about this team right now. Hold on, hold on. We're not there just yet. We don't we have a couple players that don't fit the criteria. And the, I think the rest of this team is trade finder eligible. The rest of it is really, really trade finder eligible. Like Tim Hardaway Jr. in a second should be able to able to get us. But there's Buddy. I mean, he keeps popping up. And we gonna need shooting. Man, Otan and Obi's not counted as a small four. Whoa, that would be a player that we really like. So I think it is. I think it's uh, it's our guy, Buddy. Then like Chris Boucher. And then, yeah, we almost at the bottom of this list, man. There's Jay Sean Tate. I'm going to go get a first round pick, though. I'm going to trade him for a first round pick. And we're going to use that first round pick with 
Uh, that first round pick with Montrez. No, not Montrez. Let's go to free agency. PJ Tucker, do you want a job? I think PJ Tucker would like a job. Yes, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Oh, we don't have the money. Okay, five million even. Okay, great, 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 great. So we use PJ Tucker's five million. Actually, we need a couple more players. Thaddeus Young and Garrett Temple. I don't care. It could be anybody. So PJ Tucker's money of five million with Kimball Walker in his first round pick. I love that Larry Markin is classified as a small four because that's a near seven foot player that we can put at the five position. Where are the small fours at? Nobody's offering this. I haven't seen a single small forward in here. Did we just, just go through a whole trade finder and not a single small four came up? All right, we're going to trade for Clint Capella for right now, and then we'll flip Clint. Damn, Wiggins then fell off in 2K, man. I know he's not having a good year, but 76? 76 is like, he's lower than Matisse Stiebel right now. You know what, Matisse, welcome back to the team. I guess we need the defense. I'll take that. Dang, that's a, I'm just saying that's a huge fall off because that man was an all-star starter two years ago. Royce O'Neal, we just looking for small fours at this point. These guys won't really play. I just want to make sure there's not a single person on the roster that's not a small four. We have a complete roster at the Nikhil Alexander trade. Boom, here it is. This is how they, ex they want us to do it. All 48 minutes, I'm sorry, all 240 minutes are going to guards, but no, our fours. Now we just got to figure out who, what's the real star lineup. Like, I don't mind PG or Jimmy to be the point guard. Based, based strictly on the playmaking ability. So I'm going to put Jimmy at the one, PG at the two. McKay, oh, Larry Markkinen has to start. And I want to start Asar because he's the best rebounder that we have on the team. Like, look at those. No, he's got to start. He's got to start. I'm sorry. Do we start at the five? No, Larry's going to start at the five just for the big body. He could guard Jokic. I mean, in theory. In theory. Off the bench, you have Michael Porter Jr. We have Buddy Hield. We have Trey Murphy, Matisse Stiebel. I like this team, man. I, let's get to that first game of the season. I, let's, oh, I love it. First game is against Indiana, and we win. Did we win the rebound battle? 36 rebounds for them. 51 rebounds for us because of Sar Thompson. He has six offensive, man. That's my center. Or I guess my power forward. Wow. All right. Okay. All right. Game two of the season. Don't offer me no trades. No, we good. Game, game two of the season is a win. You know, my, my small four point guard, small four shooting guard combo. Look at him. Six assists per game. Jimmy with a nine-piece assist. Let's go, boys. Let's go. We lost the rebound battle by a lot, but we hit 13 threes. They hit seven. That's all you really need. If you if you ain't out rebounding, you better hit the three. You better hit the three. Game three of the season is also a big win. We may never lose. Let's see. We may never, we may never ever lose. First two weeks is done. All wins. Oh, we have to manually do it so they don't sign somebody that's not the position. So, Pat Connaughton, are you, you declined a job. You just don't want to hoop? I'll never understand that. I'll never understand that. The players, it's like, ah, you offer me $2 million, Would I'd rather sit at the crib. I'd rather sit at the crib than make $2 million being a guy. You make $2 million just by traveling. Like, we not ask you to hoop at all. You ain't got to warm up. We just need the roster spot. And Pat Connaughton goes to Indiana. All right, remember that, Pat? We see y'all in the playoffs, and there's a, the second loss. All right, let's see the playoffs. We know we there. Can we see our guy Asar win Rookie of the Year versus Wimby? Nope. Because Wimby, <laughs> dang, Wimby, 24 and 11 with two and a half blocks. Yeah, we could not compete. We could not compete. Uh, Christian Brown was most approved player. Paolo wins clutch player of the year. 26 points per game for Paolo Sheesh. He jumped up in every single category, every single category. And we won 65 games. Washington Wizards, no All-NBA, no All-Defensive. Oh, there's a Sar Thompson, a rookie on an All-Defensive team. Um, some disrespect. Jones is definitely a player that I would have taken if he was as small four, but he's not. That's fine. That's fine. We rock. We roll. Uh, all rookie teams, of course, the Sar is going to be there. All right, all right, all right. So we won 65 games. That was number one seed. I'm surprised Jimmy Butler to make an All-NBA team. He averaged 24 and a half, six rebounds, six assists. Like, he was great. He even shot 37% from three. Like, he was great. Paul George is also great. Only 19 points per game, but you know he gave us good defense. And he was close to 50-40. Okay, he wasn't very close to 50-40-90. I'm just surprised that we didn't get a lot of love or even like a six-man of the year. Michael Porter Jr., 14-6. and six. Oh, I bet he shot 40%. He didn't even shoot 40% from three. We should win. We should win. We should feel really good about our chances of winning this, right? Because small forward is such a versatile position. So, like, James Harden is being guarded by Jimmy Butler. Anthony Simons is being guarded by Paul George. Kevin Durant is being guarded by Asar Thompson. Like, we feel good. The former teammates, Window Carter versus Larry Market. We feel really, really good. They have Hamidou Diallo starting at the three. He can't guard Mikel Bridges. At least I don't think he can. Uh, the numbers say, uh, maybe a little bit. <laughs> maybe he can guard him a little bit. But, like, this should be an easy series. We should be able to get out of there no later than five. It is four. Now we're going against Philly, who just swept these Chicago Bulls. How would this look for us? It is Jimmy versus Darius Garland. 
Dang, Darius Garland and Donovan Mitchell on the same team still. Paul George, Garden. Yeah, we used to have Jay Sean Tate on our team. Then we traded him away. Al Horford. Ooh, Al Horford versus Sar Thompson. That's big body versus small body. Um, even the center position is Jonas Valanciunas versus Larry Market and big body versus smaller body. But it seems like it may not matter too much. It's a 3-1 lead for the Washington Wizards. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? This Wizards team, I just thought about it. This is our first as a Wizard player, Wizard team, first 50-win season in forever since like the 70s. We did it. This team has Tatum, who we traded away. Oh, this, so this is Jimmy's old team. This is Jimmy's old team. All right. Okay. All right. They look all right. They look all right. They look smooth. But we got all of the answers. Like, if, if Jason Tatum is killing Mikael Bridges, we'll switch Paul George to him. If he kills Paul George, we'll switch Jimmy into him. If he kills Jimmy, we got to start Thompson to, I guess, get some possessions. Like, we have the ultimate amount of versatility to guard a guy like Jason Tatum. And, man, did we just cl clap him up. Clap them up. They scored 83 points. All right, so am I overthinking it? This is a 3-0 series. We're in the finals to go against Damian Lillard and the Dallas Mavericks. Who's Dame passing to these days? Interesting. Dame and Desmond Baines are really good backcourt. Josh Hart's a really good role player. Ultimately, we got the advantage. Mitchell Robinson might kill the glass. Absolutely kill the glass on us. But I, f I feel pretty good. Game one, Wizards win. Did they kill the glass? Oh, we won the rebound battle. But I won, but we won the rebound in battle. You know, Michael Porter Jr. off that bench is really boring. Game two, we did not. Yeah, yeah, we did not win. Uh, 16 threes versus 10 threes. They only won by nine. So we just had to hit more three-point shots. This is a three-point win. We'll take them. It don't matter if they close wins. It's a blowout. A win is a win at the end of the day. 3-1 series. And just like that, we advance to win the championship. Jimmy has been there three different times. He finally gets it. He finally gets it. He shot 16% from three in the finals. That's, that's great work, Jimmy. Why did you attempt so many? Oh, he attempted zero in the closeout game. He said, all right, I'm done. I'm going to my bread and butter, getting to the basket, hitting the mid-range shot. Asar Thompson was great throughout this playoff run. Nine and a half rebounds. We'll take that. The perfect team of small forwards. The small forward position, the worst one it is. If we win the championship with the small forwards, then shooting guard should be easy. Power forwards should be easy. We already did the other ones. Leave a like, subscribe, link in the description to enjoy basketball merch drop. I appreciate all the love, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.